Van Williams coming in motion, and Robert DeRico with a penalty marker dropped is hit at the 40-yard line, heading this crew tonight. Second down and three with Williams in motion, and it's DeRico to the outside. That's Cousineau chasing him, and he's close to a first down. You saw 57 for the 49ers in your picture. Derek Martin made the tackle, and there is Tom Cousineau. Prochiki is going, and it is caught at the 47-yard line, and that's Love Lady wearing Bobby Johnson's old uniform. Johnson wore 88 before he was shipped out to San Diego. And going to the sideline, Love Lady is really the only giant wide receiver that figures to play a prominent part tonight. Bill played Division 1A college football. These guys are from schools you've never even heard of before. Second down and eight, and over the middle, completed the 35-yard line to Lewis Bennett. Third down and three at the 35-yard line. So Chikia overthrowing Lovelady. And fourth down and three at the 35-yard line. Pressure, he escapes it nimbly, then throws, and it is caught at the 24 for a first down. It's On a safety blitz. First and 10 at the 24-yard line. And Dorico takes it through the middle, lo loses the football. And still no signal from the officials. And now it's the 49ers that come up with it. So that ends what had been a relatively impressive giant drive. It's Matt Courtney. NFL career, 1982, last play of the game. It's freezing cold. He escapes the rush. This was set up as a Hail Mary. He dumps it off. He is one for one lifetime. And as Galliano said, he couldn't believe it. He's on the bench. It's about four below. Marv Levy says, you're in there. Throw a Hail Mary. He's dropping back, and he says, I don't have anything. I'm not warmed up. My arm is weak. From the 20-yard line, Galliano and the 49ers run a reverse. This is Carl Monroe, who scored a touchdown in the Super Bowl at Stanford Stadium in January of 85. Monroe, one of many with 49er NFL experience. We'll get green stamps later. <laughs> Second and one from the 29-yard line and moving straight ahead and across the 30 for a first down is Tony Cherry, who's 5'7 and 187. Second and 10 from the 32. Cherry behind some nice blocking and he's about two yards shy of the first down. Stopped by Dan DeRose out of Southern Colorado. First down is Mike Barajon bulls his way through the middle. He's 6'1 and 232 out of Toledo. Short drop, Galliano hits Monroe, and a marker is thrown after about an eight-yard pickup by Monroe. Five to go in a scoreless first quarter. And the big fullback Barajon breaks the tackle and is run out of bounds, close to a first down. man Monroe but he can't handle it at the 30 yard line as he was chased hit and dropped by Warren Thompson out of Oklahoma State from the 50 and he's angling it and the 49ers have a chance to down it deep in Giants territory and they do at the three Chuck Thomas downs it there pretended he was somebody else third down and 13 and the pass is short with the pressure applied. Lewis Bennett was the intended receiver. The Bears had a guy by the name of Eric Jeffries who almost made the team, and then somebody showed up at the Giants camp and said, I'm Eric Jeffries. And the Giants looked at him and said, you can't do <laughs> Pretty good snap. And not a bad kick. Pretty good. 50 yard line. And back to the 41 yard line goes Derek Martin at the Giants 41 first and 10 and it's Barajan who's been pretty impressive thus far taking it to the 32 yard line and they'll be covered under the old bargaining agreement and any new one that might come into play after that second and 10 and the pass comes out to Hardy and Hardy is out of bounds at the 22 look like Hardy may have just been in motion slightly college ball at Missouri Played for three USFL teams. 
It's long enough, and it's good. So Brockhouse, in a spot where Ray Worsing would normally take over for San Francisco, has put the Niners on the board with 154 to go in the first period, 3-0 San Francisco. The second quarter, San Francisco at the 27-yard line. And it's Barajan carrying through the middle up to the 34. And while we were talking with Joe Robbie, Al Troutwick back in our studios in New York, the Giants had a drive stymied, punted, and then the 49ers taken over in the second period. Quiet scrimmage. First and 10, Galliano, the protection, wide open at the 47 is Monroe. And he will be the main man tonight, there's little doubt about that. First down at the New York 47, that's a 19-yard pickup for the game that he felt several of the key 49ers would be playing next week in Atlanta whether this strike is on or off. Is that true? Well, last week, uh, we had a few guys that, that did want to go in. They decided not to. And they want to bring from the 49ers, and I'm sure a lot of players are feeling this way, is that we have to see some movement from our union and also from management. It, it's gotten to a very frustrating situation for everyone involved, and we just want to get something done and, and get back to doing what we really want to do, and that's play ball. There would be some curiosity with it through television. So, I mean, you can, you can draw your own assessments depending on what side you are, but it's not the real football, and that's, that's what we want to get back to do, and, and hopefully we can get something done in these next few days. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> They're sitting in their own seats. Oh, yep. Either that or he's got a problem. Well, I don't know what he's smoking. Maybe that's why he's all by himself. <laughs> <laughs> Light and 10 at the 21-yard line. Mm. There's a major league sack. Warren Thompson comes a, flying through out of Oklahoma State. And a minor league pickup. Yeah. <laughs> you saw that back coming out of the backfield. Should have picked him up and didn't. High snap, but Galliano gets it down, and the kick is short. John Dietrich of the Oilers yesterday had a 44 and a 43-yard field goal over at their own 28-yard line, first and 10. Pacekia throwing and incomplete on the far side. Now, as far as some of the other performances yesterday. David Norrie was sacked 11 times. Remember Guido Merkins, the versatile one for Bum Phillips at Houston and New Orleans? He resurfaces with the Eagles. He gets sacked 10 times. He fumbles the ball three times. He rushes the ball for minus eight on three carries. He has a punt block. He went for the whole circuit. <laughs> the quarterback at Mississippi Valley State, his favorite receiver, Jerry Rice. You got it, man. Yeah. Van Williams, meanwhile, with a nice little run here. After the 44, I'll tell you one thing, though, about Merkins. After you looked at his stats yesterday, he's still very versatile. <laughs> From the 44-yard line. And up the middle, Earl Beecham, number 26, takes it to the 45-yard line and close to a first down. He's at a Bucknell, the Brooklyn native. A jailbreak. From the 46, after a first down. Going deep, Kojikia, and he oh, takes the catch, despite the interference. Bennett with a fabulous catch. <laughs> Derek Martin was all over him. And that baby will be played on ho his home PCR <laughs> about a thousand times. Look at him go for the football. Oh, a tug of war. I want that. You know, that ball came right off Martin's back, and Parcells half kidding said his team could get beat 75 to nothing. Meanwhile, they're leading 7-3. I'll tell you, he's heading for Coach of the Year honors right here. <laughs> Unbelievable. Again, Kochiki, every freckle he had behind that one, and it hangs right on Derek Martin's back for just long enough for Bennett to pull it in. Touchdown, Giants. Blue baby, well of a play. This time from the 30, offside. I would guess there's about 15,000 here, and they're making... Galliano, and the catch is made out at the 48-yard line by Tony Gladney out of Nevada, Vegas, and he stopped by Don Brown. And when they miss the games, obviously they've missed the games, and when they miss games, they miss paychecks. To your knowledge, Joe, are there any players in this league who have such contracts as to stipulate that they will be paid under these circumstances? No, none. Second down and eight here live again, and it's Van Williams carrying out to the 38-yard line, and a first down. And I assume that it didn't go out over the net. 
from the 42-yard line. It's Kochikia to Jeff Smith at the 48-yard line. You'll be able to hear the answer, which isn't being fed to us at the moment. From the 49-yard line, a little dipsy do here, and it's Lovelady to the 45-yard line, stopped by Sullivan. I think time does heal pretty things pretty well. And I was there before. Frank, you've seen it. Teammates have had fights. Teammates have had arguments. Teammates have said pretty rotten things to one another that a week later all but forgot. Just two weeks. That's quite a sacrifice that he's made. And he's talking about he may come back next week. The economic pressures. Maybe the players will forgive that. Maybe they won't. And the 49ers have just recovered to take over. And sometimes I think the guy who misses five game checks is making 50 is feeling it a lot more than Lawrence Taylor in his two game checks. That perhaps is true. Uh, the numbers are just so colossal. They're what the average salary now is ninety thousand dollars more than it was in 1982. And after Varajan picks up a first down, he gets the ball back and takes it down to the. New York 46 as we come down to the two-minute warning here approaching seven Bill Rogers was the man in motion and the pass is caught and taken inside the 30 by Tony Gladney and now the 49ers with their two-minute drill and they have all of their timeouts remaining now, he's worked in two-minute drills and he's done it very well First and 10 from the 27. He dumps it off and it's caught by Del Rogers. He's inside the 20, the 10, and Rogers to the three yard line. Del Rogers drafted by Green Bay in 82. First thousand yard rusher in Utah history. Double tight end set up. And Del Rogers takes it to the one and a half. Believe anything he ever tells me. Yeah. <laughs> Second and goal. Rogers diving in. Touchdown. That was the kind of drive that I think we anticipated early in the game. It was on the ground. It was in the air. It had strategy to it with the screen and the pass situation. Not the issue. Yep. Third and 29, and the Giants very conservatively keep it on the ground, and it's going to be fourth down and long. And uh, you know, we were out there playing a football game and doing the best we could. Gary, one of the reasons you're so happy to be in Indianapolis is because you had that strange quarterback situation in Dallas. If you were in a position, as we have a touchdown at Giants Stadium, let's, uh, Gary, let's go find out what happened, and I'll get back to you in a minute. Al Michaels? All right, Al. All right, Al, what happened is Mike Wells came in and winds up with the touchdown on the block by Matt Courtney. And so the Giants, fourth and long, the Niners are taking a timeout on defense and then cash in on a block punt. And Interestingly, the 49ers' real team has had major problems with their special teams play over time. <laughs> At Giants Stadium with the Niners, a late rush on top by a score of 17 and 2 7. We'll be right back. Now, watch this, Mark Stevens, and we've got the wishbone. Bill Walsh said that he would pull off the wishbone tonight the offense and sure enough here in the second half and when's the last time you've seen that in the nfl walsh last coached the wishbone when he was a high school coach back in 60 and there's the oh, he's he's even it. <laughs> and a short kick and the 49ers will have the ball at the new york 40-yard line is during the week that it might be a special day upcoming for you? Well, I didn't know how special it would be, but we had a very good game plan going in, and we threw the ball deep a lot in practice, so I knew there would be opportunity there. Well, throwing it deep right there was Stevens for Monroe for a touchdown. Taking a page out of an Anthony Allen play, a touchdown for the 49ers to Carl Monroe, the man whom we highlighted before as having scored the first touchdown two Super Bowls ago. Just a full sprint, and we mentioned earlier that Mark Stevens uh, threw the ball very well at Utah, as well as ran, running the ball very well, and here he is wide open, getting behind Doug Smith, and yep, that was... Well, Mark Stevens wanted to do more than just run the football out of the wishbone. The fake to Verajan took the Giants by surprise, and that's a pretty pass. Carl Monroe right there, Smith out of the picture, and... It, it would seem you would, would be a cinch to stick now with them. Has anybody, has Joe Gibbs or anybody said that you'll definitely be around when the strike is over? No, no one has said, and uh, I really don't expect anyone to say. Uh, 
I just wait here and play as long as I can, and when, th when it's over with, go on my way and, you know, go from there. Anthony, thank you. Congratulations on the big thank day you. yesterday. Okay. Uh, and the uh, Giants fumble. make a the major mistake. Tremendous. Just watching a, a free football, the kickoff is always live, and uh, recovered there easily by Kiever, the line Connecticut semi-pro play. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I haven't caught much of that action lately. <laughs> Second down and eight. And taking it to the 19-yard line is Mark Stevens. <laughs> Third and four. <laughs> and it's Barajan. Hey, I like this kid. I like this Barajan. Look at him bust in there. Galliano. Play action on fourth and one. <laughs> and he's got a first down. A flag goes down as Chris Dressel takes it to the eight-yard line. on second and goal. Rodgers, touchdown, 49ers. Del Rodgers into the end zone for the second time. Boy, and I'll tell you, Durrett has oh, come oh. back, all right. He put a block <laughs> on somebody. You see that? right up in the seats. Michael Durrett, who went out a moment ago, with what looked like a knee injury, leading. That stay on your feet, kick the man to the outside, and put him flat on his back. Michael Durrett playing hurt. That's a big time block. And he comes out of the slot to the left and runs an out pattern and they get the ball to him at the five yard line. But it's fourth down now. Don Brown made the tackle. A lot of talking went on before Gene Upshaw walked through the door. Brockhouse. Galliano's spots it at the 12. And the Niners, who thought they had seven, have to settle for three after the penalty. 22-yard field goal. 2.58 to go in the third. 27-7, San Francisco. After they return and the strike is over, and two, should the players harbor any hopes of having the games that were played yesterday and tonight be discounted from the schedule? Well, in the first place, to pay a player that uh, doesn't uh, come and play uh, would be against the rules, and so I, I must assume that nobody's going to pay them. Uh, recovered a fumble. Carl Kiever recovered his second fumble of the night, and thus it is Stevens back to pass at the 23-yard line, with the Niners threatening again and complete down to the five-yard line to Tony Gladney. He's going straight down, according to that signal. There it is. Yep, they, they do go straight down. Back to the nine-yard line, Tony Cherry. Say what we'd prefer, but I think everyone knows. We just as soon see the regular guys back by next weekend. Third and goal, and going in for the touchdown. Carrying it in is Mark Stevens. So his first NFL touchdown, and the 49ers have turned this baby into a major route. At 13.06 left before 16,000 at Giant Stadium. 20-yard kick. Dan, how Welcome. do you see uh, the development of this play here? Welcome back to Giants Stadium. Oh. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Second and ten from the 15. And a sack back at the six-yard line by Glenn Collins. In a way, is a manifestation of pretty much the way these two franchises went into this situation. The 49ers thought very long and hard about it, and... The guys in the office worked hard at procuring the necessary bodies. And the Giants lagged severely in that department, and the scoreboard reflects it. Frank, correct me if I'm wrong, but Bush has his chin strap snapped on the wrong snap. He's got it on the one clear at the back of himself. And his first pass <laughs> into a whole mess of people. Charles Coleman, the intended receiver. Well, they want to make sure it was he on tightly, Dan. He's got three options there. <laughs> Interference, number 41 defense. First down. Be plum tuckered out. <laughs> Four to 12. Long time since lunch. Bush. Oh. <laughs> dropped at the 16-yard line. Good at 23. And Fred Lorenzo out to the uh, 22, and then a flag goes down after the play. The quarter of the Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. Number 31 defense, 15 yards penalty, and a first down. Moving like wet sand. That's the Giants' first first down of the second half. Third and 10 from the 36-yard line. 
And a catch is made by Reggie McGowan. And McGowan is inside the 20, the 10, and that's his first catch of the night and a memorable one. <laughs> yeah, Reggie he, McGowan. He got a block from Lewis Bennett that made it all possible right at the end. The blitz comes from the top of the screen. He does have time to get it away, though, before he's hit by Failer, but here's the mistake by San Francisco. And, of course, the blitz puts them in man for man. And watch the block, and maybe we'll see it right here that springs it all the way. There it is. That block made by Lewis Bennett. Uh, against a moment to remember for Reggie McGowan, who had not caught a pass tonight. 34 to 14 San Francisco. Let's go to Chicago and Mike Adamley. Andre Hardy. And a gain of about eight yards to the 36-yard line. That's, that's a relatively impressive thing. A punt's a punt. Well, especially after yesterday where the punting average was about 28 yards. Yeah. Hardy. If a guy is going to lead the league in average yards per carry, that's kind of a uh, the type of statistic you would look at curiously right. and say, well, you know, it's time for first and ten. And uh, through the middle and pulling his way ahead goes big number 47. Otherwise, <laughs> second and one from the 27. And it's Tony Cherry who gets bumped back to the 42-yard line. The Niners ahead by 20. And the catch is made by Gladney. First down. Oh, he stayed in bounds, too. Second and 10. 44-yard line. Tony Cherry. Here you go, Dan. <laughs> the sideline got him that time. Stops the clock, 4.15. All right, let's go to a, a solitary figure right now. <laughs> for these replacement games with the replacement players, and it's been a plan that's been ready for a long time. Now, if the union comes back and says, we'll come in and play football without a contract or without free agency being an issue. We thank you as Ed Blount takes over for the 49ers at quarterback now as they use all three and he hands the ball to Cherry and Cherry who did the brunt of the ball carrying on that drive has it pay off with a touchdown. Well at least we were here for this touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it was. So if you bet the Niners and the over, it's a big night for you, folks. <laughs> <laughs> you better check with your shrink. <laughs> right. <laughs> Through the mill, we'll know all about negotiations against what appears to be or what they would like on the outside to look like a unified force. But it's really a fragmented group, and they are no match at the table for the powers that be. Even with that, I wish they'd get back to it. I think the wise people and people that care about things get together and sit down. Something has to come out of it. Maybe just get themselves into a gymnasium or something, all of them, and sit down and just don't come out of it. Hopefully, something like that will come out of tonight. If they don't sit down and talk, nothing's going to happen. No, there's no arguing out. 44-yard line. And the pass is caught yes catch made 30 yard line lewis bennett another nice catch for him he was the man who made the spectacular catch for the game he knew he was going to take it bush backing up as he throws and has an intercepted at the goal line and that's not going to count because there's going to be a roughing the quarterback penalty against san francisco a late yeah. shot against bush it's very late nick was calling for a, a clean next foul roughing the passer on number 90 defense there was an interception change of possession the offense got the ball back again but because it was a personal foul we tack it on from the dead ball spot and it's bush going to the corner and touchdown number 88 edwin lovelady and he beats Derek Martin. Martin lost his footing on that. That was about the easiest one Bush will ever get. That is if he has many more gets. Watch 31, Derek Martin. 
slips right there. Love lady, wide open, just waits for it to float in. Very wide receivers that wind up in Pro Bowls. Giants now trail by 20, 41 to 21. In the waning moments of this, the end of week three. Out of the Palouse country of Eastern Washington, Washington State University, Tony Cherry takes it out to the uh, 40, or the 37 yard line. line. Andre Hardy out to the uh, 47. Attenuating circumstances, they're meaningless now. The defending world champions are 0-3 and, and you know it's it's not going too far out on a limb. It's early. Oh. And Nightline tonight uh, has their entire program uh, devoted to the strike and I guess Mike Adamley will have some reports on Nightline. It right. might be morning line. Yeah. So Bill Walsh will take his 49ers on a charger into the night and back to the Bay Area with a mark of 2-1. The Giants are 0-3. There's your final. 41-21 San Francisco.